All right, case number three or case number two based on how you're counting. We're so smart and That's wildly a, successful, this and this rooms. is going to be a murder case. That occurred last year oh. at the Central oh, Brooklyn Complex downtown. A gruesome tragedy in a crowded police station. Twelve people, twelve victims. Oh no. Now, what's your take on this? Every character died. <laughs> One, two, three. Yeah, it's 12 yep. people. Blade. Sting. Okay. So Ship. I'm going to say it's... <laughs> These names. It's not going to be any of the obviously murdery sounding names. I'm going to say it's Blade gonna be, Sting. It's going to be Doug. It's, yeah, it's going to be Dwight. <laughs> yeah, because Cassidy's a murder name too. Oh yeah, like Butch Cassidy. Yeah. And the Sundance Kent Kid. And Mickey and Schrader. Schrader. Pretty, yeah. The only innocent names are like Jessica and Doug. Well, Martin's pretty innocent. Is it? Martin? Is it? Martin? Is it? Martin, no. It's only five minutes, though. I guess we do have 12 Chip characters. Chip sounds kind of cute. So who brought the bomb? Who detonated the bomb? <laughs> who is Raven? Oh, so someone has an alias already. Oh, one of these characters is named Raven. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to have a pseudo name. A pseudonym. Ha. <laughs> I'm over here by default. I walk up to these two people at the reception desk, I guess, and and so the on, central room. on the bright side. So this is like Office. only a five minute recording, but there's way more area to cover with more way more people. There's two meeting rooms in here that almost look like an, are these interrogation rooms. Is this a police station? Yes. <laughs> I thought the cops were here because the bombing was happening, but they might just be here because this is where they. I don't know. I'm just guessing. Are. But there are offices in the middle that look like police officer things. Got two bathrooms. Oh, we know those beds here. Oh, no, those are for jail cells. Yeah, so this is a prison station. Oh, yeah. Yeah, these are jail cells. There's one person in jail. So, yeah, it's a bombing at a police station. Dang. Dang. That's pretty gutsy. Yeah, there's all these cop cars out here. I do think they pulled up because the bombings happened, though, maybe. Because they, they're parked like assholes. Uh, well, they are. I mean, this is their place. They could probably park wherever they want. Oh, you think it's the middle of like a parking lot? Well, because the bomb hasn't detonated yet, so why were they out there? Yeah, I don't know. I, I I thought at first they'd be here for a bomb threat, but maybe this is just like a big parking lot area, and they're not just parked blocking the street like it looks like they are. The street also looks too small for how big their cars are, so maybe that's not really a normal street. Maybe that's the. Maybe that's just the dotted line for the parking for where you would park. I, I don't think that's supposed I to be. I don't worry the outside too much about area. It. Everything about the outside area is confusing to look at for me. Anyway, it's decorative. Hello, Sergeant. May I please have my phones back? Name Dwight. Yeah, let me check. Yes, yeah, Dwight. Theft case, huh? Uh, no can do. Your phone's evidence in an ongoing case, so uh, you'll have to follow procedure. But they're <laughs> mine. All right. What do I need to do? Who told you to come here? Ask them to write you a release form. An officer named Jessica. I need to go back to her. <laughs> officer Schrader. You working the night shift tonight? Schrader is at the desk. Oh, what a surprise. <sighs> I don't even have to bust this you. You still end up here. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Dwight. No. <laughs> Do I talk Excuse to Jessica? Me, officer. Oh, these are Sorry officers. Sorry to bother you again. Come on in. Speak of the devil. Uh, the desk sergeant wants a release form. <sighs> Are you done? It was just a phone. Guy didn't even want to press charges. <laughs> brought me in anyway just to hit me with some outrageous fine for petty theft. You broke the law. What? Doesn't surprise me that you're a rookie. No one else about an eye at something like this on night patrol. You wasted everybody's time. I've had just about enough of you. Thankfully, you won't be my problem much longer. Somebody paid your ticket. I'm in no hurry. Though, can't say the same for the guy whose phone I pinched. He looked like a real complainer. Like a real complainer. Mm. They had so much fun with this game. Dwight's a real complainer. Well, speak of the devil. Ah, uh, the desk sergeant wants a release form. Can you help? I'd really appreciate my things back. No problem. I'm almost done. You're lucky you aren't being booked. But you still gotta fill this out. No! For crying out loud, it's not like I went on a killing spree. There, ta-da, signed and dated. Can I leave now? Mm-mm. You two, we're going to reception. Mickey, glad to see you. Oh, Mickey. Officer, nice to meet you. 
Name's Mickey. Mickey Ocean. I'll take Mickey that. Ocean. <laughs> Mickey <laughs> Ocean. Careful. Oh, I'll be right you. What's the night shift tonight? Well, what a surprise. I don't even have to bust you. I like closing the gaps when we loop around. I, I think it's smart. Wound me. I'm nothing if not a law abiding citizen. Just picking up a pal like a good friend. Oh, hey there, Captain Martin. What are you doing here? Fuck. Captain <laughs> Martin. Care of us all? Well, I'll be. Blade and Doug? Blade and Doug. You guys. Shut it, you dumb fuck. Don't act <laughs> like you know me. You two. Phones, wallets, and whatever you have in your pockets on the desk. Relax, Schrader. We had a small fender bender. They're accompanying me so we can sort out the details. He's about to be mixed up. But Blade's for now, aggressive. We'll label him for now. Hi, Officer Schrader. You don't think you could ask around and see when Chip's gonna get released for me, do you? Oh, so you own the place now, do you? Find out yourself. <laughs> Mickey! Mickey! Oh, do you think Schrader is, I is a reference to in. Breaking Bad? Uh, like Hank Schrader? Was that car Maybe. Was there... I was thinking Archer, but that character's not named Schrader, is he? I don't know. I don't watch Archer. Ooh, Hank, uh, Hank Schrader. It's gonna bother me. Uh, Archer guy. Oh shit. Schroeder Archer guy who is the name of the kid who plays the piano in Peanuts. Himself. Who's the guy who plays himself and shouldn't be that hard. List of Archer characters. Burt Reynolds. Uh, uh, yeah, some of the characters play themselves. But. <laughs> Mm -hmm. too, uh, Slater. I was thinking oh, Christian, Christian Slater. Slater. Yeah, from Mr. I Robot. Love, oh my gosh, yeah, he I played, love Mr. Yeah, Robot. I was thinking of Slater, not Schrader. Oh. Yeah, he plays a character named Slater in the show who just looks and sounds like him. I, Christian just, Slater's just him. voice is one of my favorite voices. Yeah. Um, Heathers, I had a big crush on him when he was in Heathers because he was a sociopath. Mr. Robot's also so good. And I have bad. But I, I figured I'd try to catch them all as they walk in, too, <laughs> just for the sake of it. Yeah, get all those names. Mickey doesn't say shit. Nope, everyone's nice and quiet. All right, well. Fuck you. Glad to see you, officer. Nice to meet you. Name's Mickey. Mickey Ocean. I'll take care of the paperwork, Schrader. Give this patient gentleman his phone. Yeah, now beat it. I lost <laughs> two of these. There should be another one. Two phones? You think your daddy warbucks? By the way, could Damn. you tell me where the bathroom is? Inside, to your left. Good evening, officer. So He's got a bummer voice. <laughs> That's what they want you to think. Whatever, Mickey the sea monkey, was it? Huh. Did you bring money for his fine? That I did. Right here. I need your signature. And try to keep your buddy on a tighter leash. Thanks, Emil. I'll see you around. Keep up the great work, rookie. <laughs> Doctor Cassidy. Burning the midnight oil, I Cassidy. see. Cassidy? And... Wow. Tucker. Who do we have here? Oh, shut up. I... Uh, never mind. Who the hell's calling me this time of night? Cats and dogs outside. Let me call us a cab. Just a sec. All right, should be here in a few minutes. Have we ever named this character? Now, you gonna tell me what's going on? I was at the Mountain Hotel when I saw that chump hanging outside. Stole the phone right out of his pocket. Didn't realize that lady cop was standing there watching me the entire time. Ow. Shit for brains. How many times I gotta <laughs> tell you? You can't make banks stealing phones. Well, I just thought, you know, practice makes perfect. Unbelievable. You really are a moron. Ugh, whatever. Look here, I'm gonna show you something. See? This here's a phone I stole on the bus. I don't get it. You call me stupid for stealing flip phones, and then you steal one yourself. <laughs> that piece of shit probably ain't even worth 10 bucks. Wait and see, my friend. Wait and see. He's calling someone in the building. Hey, buddy. Oh, come on, it's me. Oh, don't tell me you don't recognize your old pal. Is it Dwight? Or the guy in prison? Oh. Mm -hmm. Wait, okay, wait can you have to go, you have to go in that room? I figured somebody was alone. A drunk. Oh. Guy's still lying and holding. He's, 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 not, not alone. he's not alone. Hmm. I think we'll find them later. I'm not sure who they're talking to. Because we don't have 12 people yet. Yeah, eight, we're four, still, five, we're six, still seven, working eight, on it. 9, 10. Here, let me see There's two. an invisible person here. 
So that's one of them. Oh, so we're missing one person then. And that's one of them. Oh, so we have, we have all people then. Yeah, one, that's two, all 12 three, people. Four, five, six, seven, eight. We just don't know who this person's oh. named. No, it's, it's got to come up eventually because we've been with them the whole time. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Anyways, you got to help me out. I'm in a real bind. Got arrested. Solicitation. Yeah. Long story short, was on a business trip and got a little antsy. You know the feel. Uh, keep this between us though, will you? I called because you're the only one I can trust. You've got to help me. Cops asking me for a grand to make this whole thing go away, else I'll be processed first thing in the morning. My own money? Think I have any? A dirty cop took my wallet. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here talking to you, now would I? Anyway, you need to wire the money to my friend's bank account. 165-987-2626. Name's Mickey. Ocean. <laughs> yeah, I like the sea. Uh, You'll be doing me a real solid. A real solid. And I'll pay you right back as soon as I get out. 1,300 big smack olas. The extra 300's for your trouble. And nah, nah, don't mention it. Friendship's worth its weight in gold nowadays. Uh, anyway, old copper's back. Catch you later. You really think it'll work, Mickey? He totally bought. Shut the fuck up. Patience, my friend. Patience. We'll get the money soon enough. Oops. Sorry about that. It's fine. Just stole that guy's phone. That was something else. Something else. I'll he stole his phone again. <laughs> Look at me, Chip, and tell me what's a phone to you, huh? This phone ain't worth squat if you're gonna just sell it. It's the mobile era now. A phone's more than just a phone. It's access. Access to the owner's. Nah, never mind. I guess Dwight lives. To understand all that. <laughs> he just left. What did I tell you, huh? There's my Damn, money. Damn, Mickey, you the man. I'm learning all sorts of new tech. Or not. Tonight. <laughs> Go on then. Give it a try. We've got a phone right here. I've got this. Huh. Weird. He's only got one number saved. Who cares? Oh no. Oh, oh no. Okay, okay. He only has one number saved. So we don't know that guy's name, but he detonated the bomb. We figured that one out. He detonated the bomb. He never said his name, did he? We, no, he didn't. So we have to we have to process of elimination his name. Or somebody, uh, somebody, or Jessica's gonna say it later. Yeah. When we follow her around, she'll but, probably say it at some but point. That guy detonates the bomb. Son of a bitch. Yeah. So unnamed guy detonates the bomb. I think I got one number six. <laughs> oh no! Why did you call it? I don't know if that means that Dwight brought the like, bomb or not, though. But Dwight brought the detonator at least. Let's follow Dwight around. So, yeah, Dwight leaves and then so he comes back. What, what does he again, say when he comes back? When he comes back here? Because we, we have all of Dwight's conversation. He gets his phone back, but he's like, I actually, I had two phones. Yeah, but then he leaves. Wait, I think you missed a wall box? <laughs> he, he leaves, and then he comes back in the last minute. Yeah. What is it? You think you're Danny Wallbox? <laughs> I'm just going to follow him to the bathroom. Good evening, officer. So sorry for the trouble. My friend didn't know. This game's great. <laughs> I love this kind of game. It is. It's also fun. I think he just sits in the bathroom. Let's see. And then I think he just leaves, and then he just comes back at the last minute. Oh. What's that? The customer you're trying to reach is not available. Please call back. Is he calling his own phone to see if he can find it or something? God damn it. Who are you calling at a time like this? Answer the fucking phone. Huh. What if the phone's a bomb? Everyone was in a... You notice how everyone was moving in a giant group at the end when they blew up? Yeah. Almost like they found a bomb. <laughs> Maybe we'll get context for that eventually. We have a lot of characters to follow. Yeah, he's still, he's still trying to call whoever he's trying to call. Damn. He gives up. Well, I'm glad he had a bowel movement. <laughs> you don't know that. He flushed it, and he's still sitting there for a while afterwards. Beautiful. Maybe he's just... Being inconspicuous. Let's try to limit our alcohol. So somebody's in the drunk tank. Oops. 
Sorry about that. It's fine. You still like guys phone? Like guys phone? Yeah. Oh, something else? Something else? I'll show you something then, else. Yeah, he comes. He comes oh, back. This phone. It's I've done yeah. right. Try techniques tonight. It'll be, it'll be here, Shredder. Hello, officer. Have you seen my phone? Oh, you again? That's got to be a record. Yeah, I. Uh, you seem to have misplaced Are it again. Here? Wow, it just fucking happens. <laughs> Clip. So he's just look, comes back looking for his phone, and then everybody explodes. Everybody dies. Yep, including how him. how did how do they die? They're not even the people are outside. I guess like I, don't I know. guess it's a big bomb. They're like I right behind so. the wall, so I don't know. yeah, concussive force or some shit. Let's follow Jessica all day. We've seen a lot of her already. Bet 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 bet. bet. I'm Jessica. Bet 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 bet. bet. I'm Jessica. <laughs> That's exactly how she sounds. Did you did you tell me where the bathroom is? Better. Hey, did you bring that? I did. Right here. I need your signature, and try to keep your buddy on a tighter leash. Thanks, Emil. I'll see you around. Keep up the great. Your buddy on a tight. Bring money for his fine. They say his name. They don't. They don't. They don't. Mm -mm. They say friend and buddy. Whatever, Mickey the sea monkey was it? Hey. Did you bring money for his fine? That I did. Right here. I need your signature. And try to keep your buddy on a tighter leash. Thanks, Emil. I'll see you around. Keep up the great work. Rookie. <laughs> Docker. Cat. Exciting day for Jessica. <laughs> Doing work. I'm glad that she's, you know. As long as you can. Friend of the comp. Jess, there's a man in the conference room. Go in there and stall him for as long as you can. Conference room? Why? What did he do? Car accident. A fake car accident. Ooh. Only it didn't seem so fake to him. And I need you to keep it that way. Do whatever you need what? to do. Just don't you let him first. leave. Roger that. Word on the street is Raven's in town. So everyone stay vigilant. Raven? I don't have all the info, but I'll fill you in once I have more. I feel like Dwight is Raven. If they're like, oh my god, the murderer or whatever, the bo the guy who blows things up or something. But we'll see. What's your name? Uh-uh. <laughs> hey, babe, you knew. Jess, I'll take it from here. But Captain Martin told me. Like I said, I'll take it from here. Oh, Tucker's crooked. Mm -hmm. Tucker's Raven. <laughs> I don't know what Raven is. <laughs> wow, that was one second. Good job, Ra Good job, Jessica. Yeah, dude, Doug and Tucker are doing some sketchy shit. Yeah. Oh, there's, you there's have a phone. phone. Dwight's calling him from Jessica's the bathroom. Compared, the fuck? Yeah, and you think that she'd be like, You're not supposed to have a phone in there. Is that who Dwight's calling? Yeah. Oh, fuck, I'm in lockup. Oh, fuck, I'm in lockup. I missed the phone call. Because he was drunk. He's drunk, right? He only just now noticed. I think he's the drunk guy. No. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's, or he was sleeping. Yeah, he's sleeping. I think he's in drunk tank because she says like maybe you can keep it that keep the alcohol lower next time or something. Don't tell like, me how to live my life, was mom. Off her to, that, we, heard, we heard that in the distance earlier. So I think he's just been sleeping until he sleeps with the phone call. I guess he's just making like various sleep noises. Yeah, this yeah. actor had to sit there and snore for five minutes. And Jessica's still working. Go stall him. Why? What did he do? She goes and tries but doesn't. This fucking ringtone. <laughs> it gives me like PTSD. <laughs> Is my phone ringing? At least it's not. Da -na 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 -na. Oh gosh. Where's this place, huh? Oh fuck, I'm in lockup. Damn, I missed the phone call. He doesn't even know he's in lockup. He must have been really drunk. Why doesn't Jessica care about the phone call happening over here? She doesn't hear it, maybe. Ooh. But we but we heard it from her. Everybody here? Everybody still breathing? Well, would you look who's awake? Yeah, she didn't hear it. Hey, come on, let me out. Come on. Or, huh? Let's see. Public intoxication. Beautiful. Why yeah, that's that's who Dwight was trying to call. Oh, shove it already. Just open the gate. Well, let's try to limit our alcohol next time, maybe. I didn't even have that much. You definitely <laughs> did. Somebody slipped something in my drink. He was drugged. Drugged. I still drugged. feel groggy. 
Yeah, yeah, I've seen plenty of guys like you, all claiming they didn't drink that much. <laughs> Here's my boy voice. Sure, I'll bet you were totally yeah. dry in college or whatever. Having trouble walking straight. Ooh, legs a bit heavier than I remember. See, more proof that you shouldn't drink in your condition. He's got the bomb on him. Oh, no, he's got a cane. He's got a cane, so we gotta remember that, maybe. He says his leg's heavier than normal because his leg has no, no, bombs no. on it. She says he's, he's gonna be the one that blows oh, up. Fuck, my test came back clean as a whistle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't push it. He, not, he, yeah, he does have the bomb on him. Yeah. Why are you here? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So it's he got they put up they 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 it's they, like, it's they like, drugged him. It's in his cast and put a or bomb something. On him. It's in his cast or something. Because because he said oh you shouldn't yeah. drink in your condition and he has a cloak. So he actually cloak. he actually didn't have as much as he thought he did because he got drugged. So he didn't drink that much probably, but he he got drugged. He woke up here. I think I wonder if Dwight called him on the phone to wake him up to ca to cause it or something. But then the detonation happened like on accident. So, that's so one that's of the phone, messy. yeah, one of the phones is for detonation. The other phone is for actually calling people. Like it's, yeah. one of them is a, is a real phone. There's another phone on him, which is like a normal phone. They're trying to call that guy with. What a mess! I think he's supposed to drop the, maybe he, he, maybe he's supposed to drop the bomb so off. So Jessica somewhere. just has a boring day and does nothing. <laughs> yeah, she's there for context, exposition. We should. We need to. Uh, oh wait, we've seen everything about this we guy need to go already. See what, this is the guy we can't name. That we've already seen the full line of. We got to see what they talk about in the office when they kick yeah, Jessica so out. We need, we need people to show up. So now our timelines are going to get shorter because the people that aren't here at the beginning anyway. So that's helpful. These people are going to have shorter stories. Just follow these guys. Got something to take care of is all. Well, I'll be Blade, and but you don't look. You come out. Blade, fuck you. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> and he's like, he's really sassy. It was just a car accident, Captain. Did that really require bringing us all the way in like this? I got somewhere I need to be. Yeah, are you picking on Doug? Quiet! Hey, I was right. You. I'm doing this by the book. And now that we're back at the station, I'm gonna make you take another breathalyzer. We blew at the scene and it came back negative. What more do you want? You gonna let us go or not? Congratulations, loudmouth. You're up first. Follow me. You, stay right here. What are you guys up to, huh? What are you guys doing? Can I come? Can I come what watch? What the hell were you thinking? Hitting a police car? Did it ever occur to you that it might blow your cover? I had to act fast. The info I've got is crucial for my investigation. Raven's going to show up tonight. What? All right, I want you to tell me everything. I'll send someone to keep Doug busy. So Blade crashed into a cop car. On purpose. Because he's undercover. Does he say anything in here? Well, that, that's what Martin was saying Oops. to Jessica earlier. I'm going to go back to following Martin, because apparently Blade doesn't say anything. Jess, there's a man in the conference room. Ravens in town. Cassidy. Oh, that's different. Send someone in to stall Doug. Now tell me what you know, but make it quick. That car accident you staged won't buy us much time. Yeah, Doug was already getting suspicious. Okay, how much do you know about Raven? I've heard all sorts of things. Some of them are so Hollywood blockbuster, I'm not sure what to mm -hmm. believe anymore. Hey, Tucker's I've been Raven. cover as part of his organization for two years. Everything you've heard about him is true. After he pulls off a major heist, he wipes out his crew and gets a new identity. Remember that cargo freighter? The one that blew up in the harbor? Raven's doing. Got what he wanted, murdered his guys, and scuttled the ship with a remotely detonated explosive. All the info we've gathered on him suggests he eventually kills anyone who's seen his face. That explains why I can't find a single person who knows what this psycho looks like. <laughs> to tell you the truth, I wouldn't be able to positively ID Raven if he was standing right in front of me. But if this precious pattern <laughs> he is right now, <laughs> it's Martin. <laughs> him tonight. He's made himself nothing short of a fortune running the rackets in this city the past few years. So when he calls a meeting with all of his associates up at the Mountain Hotel, I'm guessing he's looking to tie up loose ends. Even if he claims it's to pass on the Empire to one of his lieutenants. 
No wonder Doug's throwing a hissy fit about getting up to that hotel. He wouldn't miss this get-together for the world. He's been wanting more territory for a while now, and he thinks he's got a shot of the crown. That's why he's so anxious. The rest of the underbosses are probably headed there as we speak. Raven's supposed to show up later. You don't think by any chance that Doug is Raven? I don't think he is, but I can't say for certain. A lot of guys will be there. Any one of them could be him. If we sweep up the whole group, we can sort him when we book him. I guess we'll see. Okay, you head up there with Doug, I'll put together a squad to back you up. Got it. Now let's make this real. Fucking cops! <laughs> you ain't got shit on me! <laughs> DUI! For a fact, my test came back clean as a whistle. I always get kicked out of the, all this. So I call them anime voice actors because they're all like, oh, You don't understand how important this is. Like, they're, they're so heavy there's, there's on, every, of, on every word they say. A lot of emphasis. Yeah, they're all like from a JRPG. But it's really helpful for being able to tell them all apart and they're all, when they only exist as voices. Hmm. Understood. Let's talk in my office. Yeah, dude, Tucker's sketchy. Did, 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 did Doug say anything on his own, though? Oh, I totally did. Oh, he's on a phone. It's on a phone. Here comes Tucker. When is this gonna be over? I ain't got all day. K. Mark Hamill. <laughs> oh, maybe he's calling the guy in the other room. It might not be Dwight. Oh, yeah. Because Dwight just might be looking for his phone? No, that doesn't make sense. How's that ASMR going for everyone? Tucker, it's me. I'm at your place. Where are you? He, he calls Tucker. Let's talk later. See you at the meeting. So Tucker is supposed to go to the meeting with Raven. So Tucker is dirty as shit. I think Tucker's Raven, dude. Might be. Because one of the people at the meeting is Raven. So it has to be either Doug or Tucker. Or Blade if he's a liar. He excuses himself over here. Here's my phone. You can pat me down too. Tucker handled that already. Just let him in. You get him back when you leave. Doug. Just came back to bring Sting in. Why are you here? Sting. No, we should talk now. I'll come find you. Who did he bring in? He brought in Sting. Oh, he brought in Sting? That's what he just said. Yeah. Shit. That's Sting then. Kaka. Finally. Sting and Cassidy. All these all these names. Why are you here? Why are you here? Go first. Roger that. Word on the you knew. Jess, I'll take it from here. But Captain Martin told me. Like I said, I'll take it from here. Mm -hmm. Well. Understood. Let's talk in my. Poor mind. Jessica. <laughs> she, all she does is walk around for a bit and die. <laughs> yeah, no, she's new and she Let died. See, please. Now, what the fuck are you doing here? That idiot Blade hit a cop car and that buffoon Martin arrested us. He's just trying to give us a hard time. Martin's always been trouble. You think he heard something? Not that it matters. I've got everything under control. Picked up Sting and Kent to clear the way for you to take over. Who'd have thought, huh? Kent. All three of us yep. Same police station. Those two behave. Sting didn't even try to run. Sounds just like that old fox. Kent? Kent. He. He couldn't run even if he wanted to. What do you mean by that? Oh, that's Kent. I went to the Mountain Hotel earlier. No, that's Kent. Place and found Kent in a VIP room. That's Kent. Sucker was already three sheets to the wind. I saw an opportunity, so I had him booked for public intoxication. Uh -huh. No shit. Tucker's guy well, who drugged him. Why would Kent get there so early? You think the boss told him before the rest of us? I didn't see anyone else there. What's your boss look like? <laughs> nice try. Only us three have ever seen our boss in the flesh. He likes to keep a low profile, you know. I wasn't trying to trick you. Just curious is all. Yeah, but something's off. I've seen Kent drink for years, yet I've never seen him drunk. Not even once. Looked pretty sauce to me. Didn't even wake up on the ride over. Must have had himself a whole bottle. Or five. 
Yeah, well, this guessing game won't get us anywhere. You keep an eye on those two there, will you? We can't let anything go wrong now. I'm gonna go see the boss. Okay, I'll see you out. Yep, Kent was super drugged. Clink. For a fact, my test came back clean as a whistle. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I like how they all converge. That's fun. We look at us. Now we have every name. Stinging. The only, only, the only name left was Chip. I had a feeling it was Chip because Chip is like a Chip's dumbass like a name. Idiot name. Yeah. For to be the guy that blows everyone up. Fucking Chip. Nice going, Chip. Let's see. Blade and Martin go in there. So we, yeah, we followed Blade all the way. We through, had to do right Cassidy thing. and Sting. Yeah. Whatever they're talking about in there. Yeah, I have no idea what Cassidy and Sting are doing all day. So they, they show up. To, they get. They show up now. They get brought in by Tucker. Oh, shut up. I. Uh, who the hell's going to be here? I'll yes. leave. It that way. Do whatever you need to do, just don't. You go first. Here, Cassidy just goes over and eavesdrops for a second, and then comes back. Cause Cassidy doesn't say anything. He just awkwardly stands there. I think so. Ravens in town. <clears throat> so everyone, stay vigilant. Raven? I don't have all the info. Always, yeah. But I'll fill you in once I have more. Cassidy just goes Raven. So, so I think. It, so it's important to the plot that Cassidy knows. hears about Raven apparently, because yeah. they establish it like that. Mean, Sting. What are you guys trying to pull, huh? Ooh, what a voice. I mean, setting up roadblocks and arresting people for no good reason. Ooh, I love Sting. Tucker gave the order earlier today. He didn't explain anything, and I had no idea he was trying to catch you. What's this Tucker up to? Now that you mention it, Tucker has been acting strange lately. Before he brought you in, he was up at the Mountain Hotel. Picked up a drunk. Guy's still lying and holding. Mountain Hotel? What are the odds? What's that drunk look like? Like any other dirty drunk. Had himself a good limp, though. His leg, was it prosthetic? And uh, did he have a scar on his right eye? And how do you know all that? It's a prosthetic you know leg. Mm -hmm. That's heavier than normal. Doug's behind this, no question. Doug? Why's that? Earlier today, our boss informed us he was going to choose his successor. Only me, Doug, and Kent have a shot, really. Now Doug got her to lock me and Kent up. It's so obvious. He wants to make sure he's the only candidate. Damn, you're telling me that drunk was an underboss? He took a bullet for the boss. That's how he lost his leg. That prosthetic leg of his, that was a gift from our boss, too. Got anything else for me? I gotta get to that hotel. Actually, there is something else. I just heard from Martin that it's highly likely Raven's about to resurface. Raven? Get out of here. If Martin said so, there's got to be some truth behind it. You've heard of Raven, too? Only rumors. Word on the street is Raven kills anyone who gets a look at his face. Once he's made enough money, he runs off and gets himself a new identity. No one even knows what he looks like. Holy shit! That's cold, man! Don't tell me you're Raven! If I was him, you'd be the first to go. <laughs> Just cut this bullshit and get me out of here. Come on! But what am I going to tell Tucker? Uh, let me worry about him. Let's go. A whistle. Play it as a whistle. whistle. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the the I think the reveal here was that the the criminal group that's talking about their boss, mm -hmm. their boss isn't Raven. Raven's mm -hmm. some other character because they talked about them as two separate figures. They keep talking about the boss, but then like, then they're like, did you hear Ravens in town? In the same conversation, you're like, wait, so yeah. the boss isn't Raven. Yeah. But then we don't. What do we know about Raven? I think the te the technical meaning is that Kent brought the bomb in because it's his leg. Brought the bomb. I think that's going to be the technicality of what they count as being the answer. To that okay. Who there detonated the bomb? Is Chip. Chip. Then who's Raven? Who wants to kill everyone because they saw their, their face, apparently? Well... I would think Tucker or Dwight. Yeah, I was going to say, I think it's... I think it's... Dwight's super suspicious. <laughs> so, okay, yes, Dwight's suspicious, but I've got to think, like, why does Kent have the bomb in his leg in the first place? He was drugged by someone, so Kent didn't mean to bring the bomb. I don't think Kent even knows he has the bomb. Yeah, but, it, but he did technically bring the bomb. I think it's still the answer. But he does... He is receiving a call... or. He, who who calls him? Do we figure out who who calls him? Was it Dwight or was it 
Doug. Because when Kent, Kent gets a phone call and he goes like, oh, fuck, I missed I missed the whatever. I missed the call. So maybe the Kent call. does know he has a bomb. Because. But Doug, I think Doug might have drugged Kent. Where is this place? Huh? Oh, fuck, I'm in lockup. Yeah, okay, so it is Dwight because Doug isn't calling at this time, but Kent's receiving a call at this time. So it's so Dwight Dwight's calling, calling Kent. Mm hmm. I think Tucker drugged Kent because everyone else talks about finding Kent being drunk and being surprised. Tucker's the only one that doesn't act surprised about it. Tucker's like, oh, he probably had a lot to drink. Everyone else is like, he doesn't get drunk very easy, but Tucker's like, he looked pretty sauce to me. I think Tucker's the one that drugged him. Because yeah. apparently it's supposed to be... Who, who's up for running to be the next boss? It's supposed to be Doug and Sting and Tucker? Or Kent? No, it's supposed to be Doug, Sting, Doug, and Kent. Yeah. yeah, it's Doug, Sting, and Kent. Doug, Sting, and Kent are up for potentially being the next leader at the next meeting. I don't know what Tucker's motivation is. No, I'm not sure. So I'm suspicious. <laughs> So Dwight's calling Kent. What does Kent say about the call? He says, "I." He just says, "I missed the call." I think I don't think he gives any any like no. hint as to what the call would be about. But the fact that he's expecting a call makes me think he knows he has the bomb in his leg. What do we know about Raven? Just the fact that he kills everyone who sees his face. Um, Raven is the one who. Okay, 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 okay. No, Raven is the one who blows everyone up or at least the one who wants to yes the one who wants to chip blows everyone up chip blows everyone up on but accident I don't think chips raven kent brought the bomb but who's demanding who's causing the who's the one who's in charge of the bomb well all the phones belong to dwight i think it's dwight do you think dwight's raven i think dwight's raven he is the weird suspicious figure that's doing things in the background the whole time and is not one of the people that's in the running for being elected because raven does not seem to be part of that organization I, I think we kind of did this backwards. I think as a game maker, they were expecting us to go to Mickey and Chip's conversation last. So I think the fact that Maybe. we know that Dwight's phone is the one that causes the explosion is supposed to be more of a surprise than it was for us. So I think that's why we're Maybe. not. I think that's why, why we think it's too easy of an answer because we found it out first. I think most people wouldn't do the outside conversation first. We just happen to pick them to follow. So I think I do think Dwight is Raven. I think we we're supposed to figure that out last. But we just are cool. We're so it out awesome. First. Yeah, I figure it's either Tucker or Dwight, but I think it has to be Dwight because I can't figure any, like Tucker gives uh, us nothing. For me, the idea that yeah, because like, if you have this figure that kills everyone who sees their face, it wouldn't make sense for them to be an officer because like why would they try to kill everyone in their own place? It shouldn't Doesn't be, make any sense. It shouldn't be an officer. <clears throat> so it's probably Dwight. And Dwight wasn't expecting to have his phone taken. Yeah. He was on his way to the meeting, I think. And Dwight's directly connected to the bomb. Because Dwight, Dwight's like kind of jostling him and everything. And so and so he probably planted the bomb. So Dwight probably drugged Kent and put the bomb in his leg. Because he <laughs> apparently, because maybe he wanted to blow up the police station, I guess. For reasons we don't know. No, I don't think he wanted to blow up the police station. I think that was an accident. <clears throat> oh. The, that happening here. It was supposed to happen at the meeting. The explosion was supposed to happen at the meeting. So because he, Raven kills all of his people. Because, yeah, the explosion happens on accident. Yeah. So Ra I, so Raven wanted to blow up the entire criminal organization all in one swoop. That's why Dwight's all pissed but off. His Kent, phone's gone. But Kent got picked up by these guys, and Mickey and Chip keep stealing his phones. Yeah. And so everything goes to shit, and a police station blows up instead. So I think we have every answer. I think we do. So Chip. Oh, Kent. No, 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 no. Kent brought Kent. Sorry, Kent. This is similar names. Kent brought the bomb. Chip detonates the bomb, and Raven is Dwight. That's my final answer. I think I'm ready to commit. <gasps> yeah. We did it. Hey, this game's fun. It is fun. Who brought the bomb? I think the boss told him before the rest of us? Yeah, but something's off. I've seen Kent drink for years, and I've never seen him drunk. Not even once. I have no 
Oh, that's why it's heavier. I didn't put that together. So there's a bomb in his leg? Yeah. Oh. I just thought it's because he was drunk, his legs felt heavier. No, I, I, kept, I kept emphasizing it too. I thought, this one, you didn't know he had a fake leg. No. Well, yeah, wow, I woke up with that real leg. Crazy. No, this one emphasized <laughs> his legs. Oops. Sorry about that. Yeah, and Ooh. also you're going to die of it. I got this. That's a bad sign. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, never do that. Every associate, because he's going to blow him up. Stole the phone right out of his pocket. I didn't realize that lady cop was standing there watching me the entire time. Chip like triple fucked up. Chip's a loser, dude. Fuck you, Chip. Chip caused all this to happen. So you, you guys. I see. Does it strike you as odd that these situations seem to be full of coincidences? No. Sorry. <laughs> I meant, great job. Oh, okay. Uh oh. What? Why is your Wait. face invisible? Wait. through these examples at a steady pace, but I knew you could crack them. All right, on to the next one. Tell me, detective, do you enjoy the theater? That's not ominous as fuck. Do you fuck. enjoy the theater? <laughs> Why is she asking us if they're all, if I'm surprised they're full of coincidences? Life is full of coincidences. Are, yeah. Is there something connecting all of these events? I mean, everything about this feels like an interrogation. Yeah, like that, we're the like we're wanted for that's something. That's why I feel weird about it because look yeah. at the camera watching us it's, and yeah. her it's a, face. It's an armored room. There's a camera. She's pacing back and forth and asking us questions. We're not moving at all. And this is like, this is like a go-to example of a of a, of a interrogation room. Yeah, it's just a, this it, a metal square with one table in the middle. If we're a detective, we shouldn't be in this room. Yeah. We should be in an office. We're a suspect detective. Which in every hard-boiled detective story ever, the detective becomes a suspect in the murder. Oh my god. We're a suspective. Suspective. <laughs> so yeah. Oh no. I think the moral is like if you They're guys... They're about to get a suspectomy. Don't... Oh my gosh, no. <laughs> That'd be a twist. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't the pristine medical office I was expecting, doctor. Yeah.